What is going on, guys? We are back with another video today, and it's week 15 up against the Titans. This time, I promise I won't kind of lose my bearings and lose my mind of, did we play the last? Did we just sim the last game? I'll remember this time. It was a very close finish there with the crazy catch to, I believe, Auden Tate into double. Uh, but Houston obviously left it too late. They just choked it, and we ended up holding on for the victory. Houston is now 5-8. and eight. Their season is obviously, I mean, it was probably long gone over before that. But now it's 100% over. They're looking like probably a top five pick if they're lucky. And now we're going against the Titans, who are kind of in a spot where, you know, win, maybe make the playoffs, lose. You can get yourself into the top 10 or hold the top 10 spot. Then we have the Chiefs and Broncos, of course. I'm not exactly sure what every single team entails. And we may even have some players coming back from injury. So let's get to week 15 and see where we're at. Oh, my boy. This is a tough one for me because... As much as Dylan does bring a lot to the table for us to, you know, hopefully hold on as the Colts have locked up the division, it would appear, especially since we can't even stop them. Uh, yeah, they 100% locked it up, actually. But with Dylan giving us a very good chance to uh, boost the offense and make the team even better, I want him to start. But at the same time, we do have Derek King here, who is, you know, if he remains starter, has a legitimate chance to get to a thousand yards and 10 touchdowns so i'm kind of like what do we do i really don't know i man i really can't tell i think i suppose i suppose dylan comes back that made me moist king nah king's the hot hand king's gonna start dylan's the backup until something happens but let's look at the roster so of course we move some things around uh that being nothing at all just dylan wanted to be the starter and we said Eh, you know what? We're going to roll with the hot hand for now. If, if he starts looking bad and Dylan looks good in his limited carries coming back, we'll see. But obviously, you don't want to rush Dylan back in from a pretty serious injury. and Especially when you've got uh, King playing as well as he has played. So, you know, we're just going to chill. We're just going to we're gonna be relaxed. Let's get our upgrades in. See what the Titans look like. Even though we do know what their roster looks like because we just played them recently enough. And they are a division rival, so it doesn't absolutely, you know, we should at this point know. Uh, but we'll still take a look anyway. Just in case, maybe it's your first episode. Maybe maybe I did forget. I don't remember. <laughs> 81 overall for Bush, who's had a pretty decent season. And a very bad upgrade, but <laughs> there's, you can only do so much, right? And you, can, you get good upgrades, and then you get the ones we usually get. Teddy Bridgewater. Guy has no throw power. Clyde Edwards, Hilaire. Guy has it all, apparently. Cooper Cup, Robbie, and Robbie Anderson. Don't get me started. Johnny Smith makes plays against us. O-line is uh, its pretty rough outside of, I think, like one position. Is it their left tackle who's superstar, I believe? I believe it is left tackle superstar. Andrew Thomas, though, he plays really well, which worries me. Epinesa, and then you have Cameron Hayward who stops every run possible. Mo Harris is usually pretty silent, but maybe he's, uh, maybe he's doing more. But Cameron Hayward's just a little bit faster, so he gets all the credit. Linebacker's pretty good. Their defense is is a little bit better than their offense. Uh, oh, look at this. I didn't even... Is this something I didn't notice before? That is... Something. <laughs> Jair. Kevin King's always trying to ruin that man's uh, career, huh? Always just trying to bring him down. Maybe did we miss any other upgrades? Marvell Tell. I mean... We ruined Marvell, but that speed was so bad. Watch, he gets like a plus two speed here. Damn, son. You are so... I thought he was 87 speed. He's 86. He's garbage. All right, King. Show us that you are the guy. King, show us you're the guy. Show us that Dylan is the thing of the past, even though he's is obviously the uh, going to be on the team regardless. But <laughs> who's going to be the number one? That's the real question. As we have a chance here to sweep the Titans and, I mean, hell, run the table at this rate. We are uh, we're on some roll at this point. Haven't played the toughest teams. You know, a lot of teams are kind of like middle of the pack, similar to what the Titans are, like six that and six, a couple less than that. And, of course, here we are going up against our rivals in the biggest game of the season for both teams. Obviously, both teams here. I wouldn't say if we lose, we're out of it, but I would definitely say the Titans, if they lose, they're out of it without a doubt. So you can only do so much. And uh, let's just hope we're not the team, right? That As you can see here, that we would right now, if the playoffs started would be the seventh seed it would appear yeah, seventh seed and the titans are like the ninth seed so if they can you know potentially win this some things go right they would potentially swap with us right here 
it looks like at least, and they are going to get the ball first, which is definitely a win for us. All right, the first actual play, and it's picked off by Hudson. Oh, my Lord, run, boy. Hudson is just a pick six machine. The very first play, we had a pause because Mr. Waffles Panda literally is going for everyone's neck in the the, the, the Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash uh, with the gifted subs, and here we are making wins happen. It's, it's like a make-a-wish for, for anyone. It, you don't even have to have a disability or, you know, something really unfortunate. Jesus, how? I mean, it wasn't like I just baited them and, you know, I kind of controlled the outcome. When do we ever see AIs just make insane plays like that? It just doesn't happen. Even though I think Hudson had one last week that went for six as well. It, apparently, you are lucky. Well, I mean... Like, kinda. Did this man have one on us last time as well? Because it says second of the season. It had to be. It had to be. This is a nightmare. <laughs> Daniel Parks, slowly but surely, surprisingly, in a down year for the league, actually has MVP votes, potentially. It's insane. Oh, hell no, Blacklock. You, like, never play, but it doesn't mean that you can get injured now. Like, uh, hello. We're making a run here. We're going to try to. Here we go. So, uh, before that run, there was 14 points scored in the span of 20 seconds. Yep, that's what happened. And here we all are just to witness. As this could be a throw to Aiken. And Aiken drops it. That's going to be a drive killer. That is, that is going to kill the drive, isn't it? I am sad. I should have taken it. Oh, L look at him, Scotty Miller, the bodyguard. What a play, he almost completely ruined it, but considering what looked like he was about to die by the corner over there, I think he's bodyguarded him. I think he saved him. I think he, uh, I think he saved the play. We had Aiken. And what do we do? Like, just take, just take Bush or whoever that is in the middle. Just take him. He's open. He's open enough. We think we can wait for things. It's like, this team still is who they are, right? So... You gotta just take what you can get. And this one. And that's a pretty good throw, and Aiken holds on down to the 42. That is uh, surprising that we completed that. I thought it was gonna be picked off as Aiken. I mean, he's getting hyped, and I love him for it, right? But man, you had a bit of a disappointing season. <laughs> a lot of drops, and just really did not go that well. And there's a sell. And it's not even gonna, the sell's not over. As Bush is going to try to tackle him, he does get him. And Mohurst, uh, combining with Kenny Clark, is going to take that to the 16-yard line. What kind of, like, scripting is going on here? There you go, off the edge, my guy, Chase on. Like, what kind of scripting is going on here? Dylan comes back. You know, King really hasn't sold too much, and yet he just sells, like, instantly like that? Like, what is, like, hello? Parsons? Get Parsons to the outside, of course, nowhere to go. This is a nightmare. <laughs> it's just, this is a nightmare. Like, it's an exciting start, but at its core, if you really think about what has happened, both offenses look like trash. Hot garbage. As Kirk's trying to get in there, and... Kemp! What are you doing? Trying to get in there to swat, and he's just sitting around... Uh, Dre Archer on the return. He had himself a kick return touchdown, so why can't he do another one? How many subs is that now, Waffles? That's kind of hilarious. Ooh, and that's going to be picked off. What is happening? What is happening? How does he pick that? And now our right tackles are, what is happening? What is going on? Excuse me? Drum is best. Well, you know... Uh, what sense? Like, at Madden, you know, we'll keep that, uh, you know, jury's out. Get get over there. Is he going to break a free? No. You're throwing? No, it's Parks throwing. Bruce Durham. Okay, so our right tackle position is really bad right now, but on the positive side, uh, you know, Howard is apparently going to be fine. Only points scored so far are defensive points, so... That's always great for the uh, the team morale on offense, at least. All right, come on, boys. We got to bring the pressure. We got to bring the house. Come on, Brooks. We need to press. 
What are we waiting for? Oh, man. You have Te I guess Teddy could run the read, but why is uh, why is Chase on not just pursuing there? Like, we're not on conservative. Is there, like, can, if I go, like, aggressive on the read op, will it count for play action as well? That's our fault. Good tackle as John is going to gain about six. It's fine. It's fine. We'll, we'll be fine. We'll be, we'll be fine. We got to run the ball more. We got to throw to the wide open player. We're not down much here because, of course, they got the ball first. And they also did get lucky, too. Ooh, huge hit by uh, Duvall, I believe. They got lucky, too. You know, kick return touchdown where the lanes just completely collapse. That's not going to happen often unless you're playing against us. And Duvall, we missed hard. That's a sell, and that's a first down. Oh, he's wide open. That's a touchdown. There's literally nowhere. Yep. We had to call up, you know, the, the higher-ups, let them know we need, we need a new team to come down and save us because right now the current team we have is, is selling. So the anti-sell department will be here shortly. Don't worry about it. As you can see, you know, there are you know some of them are already here. Derek King. Oh yeah, let's look at how he's played this season in the last game. It's not like he just sold and you know gave up almost a fumble six, right? I mean, it turned into a fumble six realistically. Oh my god. Please. I mean, I think Dylan's like. Dylan hasn't even had to play realistically, and he, he may already have his job back as the starting uh, running back. Like, that's how crazy this is. Scotty Miller is the toughest throw to make, but he was the most open. Hits it. The drive continues. Massive. What do you call a beer website that got hacked? Coronavirus. Yeah, that's pretty bad. That's... The sorry... Yeah, the sorry is justified. Uh, do they not want to cover an Albert O? This could be a touchdown if we don't get too excited. That's a pretty good throw. Yeah! Oh, Cameron Hayward being hurt is big. Was that... Is that Trayvon Diggs or is it um, Quandre? I think that was Quandre. Was that just underthrown? What was that? How did he make that play? We could have threw it right away. I just thought we would have had it deeper. Oh, he's wide open on this one. Really bad throw. Oh, he gets away. There you go, Alberto. Fighting hard to the 40-yard line. If I would have thrown a pick there on a seven-yard press, I would have been furious. Overall, I think you got to you gotta take what the defense is giving you. And the defense is giving us a lot here. I can't take Bush. Albert! Damn it. If I'm telling you, Parham's there. That heat catches that. My guy Parham does not miss those, like, floaters that go to nowhere. I mean, there's just nowhere to go there. Like, he literally insta-pressured us. But at the same time, we can't sell here. We got to make sure we get some points. It's still really early. I know the score is out of hand, but defense tightens up in the second half a lot. And I say that, and here comes the pick. Right foot was out. <sighs> Titans are balling. Lockdown coverage. Pressure's insane. We missed the kick. Holy crap, dude. That was about as close as you can get without touching the damn crossbar or the, the goalpost anyways. Upright, that's the thing. When is Parmesan back? Uh, I think like a week from now. Bring them up. They're running. They're running us out of town. Good tackle by Gilchrist who just... I'll be honest. When he first dove, it looked like he didn't have a plan. He, he looked like a man without a plan. And yet, <laughs> it worked out. To the outside. Yeah, both outsides were wide open as Robbie gets hammered. The man you don't want to get going because that guy is very hard to stop when he gets there. All right, Parsons, get in there. Get in there, Parsons. Get in there. Yo, we are getting handled up front here. Nine yards gained now. Kirk. Damn, I mean, that's good defense for once, but obviously it's still going to result in a first. Oh, Kemp. It is cop. I don't know why I've expected him to do it. I, I pushed up, and then I tried to, like, put the slant inside. There you go, Hudson. Finally, we get him for a loss. Earlier in the game, Clyde was, like, two for negative six or something, and you know, now he's, like, ten for 40, which is obviously pretty good. Running back's pretty open, but we let him open for a reason. And if that's not grounding or fumble, I don't know what is. Like, how is that not grounding or a fumble? It is the quarterback's job to get the ball, like, far, right? Because otherwise you could just make the argument, oh, he was taking me down. That's why it's not grounding. Mario, he's been kind of quiet. And that would have been picked off 
Hadn't it been so far of a throw. This could be, you know, yeah, it is out of their range for a field goal. So we actually stopped them for once, thankfully. And maybe we can try to get this game back under control as the Titans have come out swinging. Really bad, uh, you know, interception for a touchdown by them. But since then, they have definitely turned the tides quite a bit. Uh, let's go with this. Aiken, don't really know if I trust him. King out wide. Let's just run. We may have had King there, but... I just, I mean, the pressure is just getting there, man. They're winning their their matchups up front. It looks like Mo Hurst. Yeah, he's back in for sure, so can't depend on that. Dylan up the middle. I guess it just doesn't matter who the running back is because they're just not getting blocks. I mean, it really looks like nothing is open. I mean, let's run the ball. King finally a first down on the ground. Jeez, this has been a tough, tough battle. This is a tough win across the board, but, I mean, I think we have the numbers. Kinda, as Dylan fights hard to gain about six, five and a half, six. That's what we got to get back to. Winning our blocking assignments and Dylan goes one-on-one, -on one-on-two, -on -one -on whatever it takes. He has a chance. Should be slanting here, actually, because they're coming up with the, the five-man front. And that's a huge hit over the middle, but it is Bush who's had himself a pretty decent season. Outside Bush again after the big hit. Has himself a lane. He's going to take the block, and he's going to outrun everyone for a gain of near 20. Actually, on the nose, 20. What a play. Is that Albert? Alberto, very, uh, I wouldn't say very behind him, but, you know, a little a little behind him on there. Would have liked to see that ball a little bit for, further. Further. There's Bush again, who has had a pretty decent drive, and it's a really good job by Roquan. Roquan's fast, but... You know, it's it's not easy to cover a wide receiver like that. As King patiently running, gains about three. Would be nice to just, like, take the entire clock away from them, but that is a very tall task. Scoring in general in the NFL is a tall task. Colby! Colby Parkinson! Let's not, like, lie to ourselves and say that Colby hasn't been good when he played. Maybe we didn't need a backup. Oh, maybe we even need uh, Alberto, but obviously Alberto has turned out good, so I'm, I'm happy with it. Let's wait till the clock gets to that that one second mark, just so we have a chance to waste more clock on him. Oh my! Damn it, King! Double move inside. Nope, never mind. We're gonna just take her away. I'm gonna be honest. I was gonna pump fake there, but that works too. Touchdown. That's <laughs> that works as well. I'm I'm stoked. Good way. Good way to get that going. Is that a missed kick? It is not. So two-minute warning, down by four, but obviously they have all of this time to work with, which is definitely, definitely scary. <laughs> Please, right? Is he not going to cover that? Oh, he's hit as he's thrown. Hill, what an attempt. Oh, that is good. Robbie's not an easy guy to get the ball off of, and, you know, even in that situation where he's hit as he's thrown, Robbie had a really good chance at that. Maybe should have swatted it, but it worked out for the best. You know, we didn't lose... You know, ground on him. Kirk, get in there. Teddy's in trouble, and he's going to get bumped. That should really go to Parsons, honestly. Half of that should go to Parsons, as Parsons literally closed up that gap by pushing the guy last second. And here on a third and 15, don't want to get too crazy, but it looks like it could run it out, but obviously we won't let them. And there goes Gilchrist filtering through, and that's a stop. Archer, that's a nice little move. Obviously, it's not going to mean a whole lot, but gets to the 47-yard line. How many yards would he, do we actually gain? Like, maybe five? No. Yeah, I mean, that safety is kind of driving down on that anyways. It would have been a 50-50. That's tough. Oh, man, what a step up. Quandre Diggs is hes doing things for them. It is, it is not a good sight. They've been baiting us all day with Alberto. Yeah, they have come, they have come very close on these baits, though. I will give them that. They have, they have done some things. Switch the sign so at least you know kind of makes them think a little bit. Aiken could be our guy, but at its very soul, don't. Oh man, Bush was open. That's a touchdown, most likely to Bush. Get that tackle. Man, this old line is so disappointing, dude. Oh, come on, Hudson. 
Oh, we sold. Now that's a legitimate sell. I just didn't think he was going to get the time to throw it because we had a guy all over him, but I guess our guy missed, and then I jumped early. Another one. We get a second chance at it. And we won't waste it as Duvall's going to get the pick. There you go. Fool me once, you know? Please don't fool me twice. All right, we're going for a shot play because obviously I have one timeout to maybe take a shot. Aiken, that's a pretty... What is happening? What is Parks trying to get his tackle numbers up? What's happening here? How is that a completion to them? Is he like... I don't even know. And there's a fumble. What are what is wrong with these teams? I don't I don't understand. That's not no 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 no. They could take the shot underneath. Hit as he's thrown. And how is that almost caught? That is a nightmare. He's gonna go to that corner out. He's gonna take the running back or the wide receiver. Hold him up. Hold him up. You gotta hold him up. You don't you don't need to take him down. You just hold him up. Which is probably all that matters for this, right? I don't care if I hit him late. He's not gonna miss. I'm we're only down seven. Right? It could be worse. It could be worse. Statistically, we actually have played better, but those turnovers, man. Those turn. Ugh. Those turnovers, brutal. All right, Dre Archer. We're only down by seven. Don't make that by fourteen by fumbling. That's a that's a very interesting. Uh, Interesting bet because it's like almost 50 50, right? With the five wide set. Alberto on the drag. Nice little cut in to the 38 yard line. Uh, three interceptions. I'm going to be honest. I thought it was way more than three. Not that three is like something to be super stoked about, but blocking. Receivers just not making their plays. It's just not been a good one. There goes King. King with a head of steam gains about 11. This read is not a good play. They're going to gonna have that red. Is he open this time? His he's thrown. Hits the throw. There you go. Well, maybe not as he's thrown. Go back with the read option. Look, uh, I mean, Alberto is the main blocker over there, so we could probably pull this off. As Parks he kind of gets hit by his own guy. As Bush is going to get injured. Come on, buddy. Don't get hurt. Okay, we can't run it here, obviously. We really should just call a timeout here, but I, I don't feel like you can waste the timeout. We could get away with this run, though, because they're on the opposite side. Ah, oh, Seawolves got to do better there. We gained two. Should have been a first down, maybe more. Could have been off to the races with that one. Could be a quick throw to Albert. Damn, that was just that was too much of a risk. That was too much of, you know, we tried to throw it away. He's kind of open off the line, but those safeties have been driving down very hard all game long. And it was a good throw. It was on the money. It's just almost impossible for Alberto to get that. And that's just, you know, it's rough. But Tennessee is, uh, they've come to play today, especially with that kick return touchdown. Is that back to back against them that they have kick return touchdown? There you go, Gilchrist. There you go. Hudson on the inside. He's in trouble. Oh, my God. What a throw. You just contain. And that's why I said you just contain because you just don't know when they're going to break a tackle. And that's a massive gainer. Get in there, Kirk. And he's in trouble. He almost had him late there, but that will be a third and not. You know, not, you know, Teddy's had some plays, but he's also made some pretty bad decisions himself. Oh, am I stuck on Holton? I am. I'm in pretty good coverage. I'm in pretty good coverage. I'm in pretty good coverage, and we get the pick with Holton Hill. I mean, that would have had to be on time. And, I mean, it would have had to been put with some real insane accuracy for him then to pull that off. That's just, you know, that's just the way it is. Inside. I did not think he was going to sell that hard. We still gained about eight. Aiken. Wow, Parks, that was, I mean, there was some rough ones today, but that is by far the worst thing I've seen all afternoon from, I mean, really either team at this point. <laughs> That's bad. We're kind of running away from them, so hopefully they don't see it, which they don't, and we gain the first. There you go. Hit is worth thrown, and 
I'm glad he didn't catch it, but he was there to catch that, and I, I don't know how he didn't. I should have started that you know, a couple quarters ago. And there goes Parks, and that's a fumble. Good recovery by Lineman. We have just, I mean, there's just nothing we could do. Could go to Scooter. That is an interesting throw, to say the least, from Parks. That's not, and okay, sure. <laughs> on Brooks damn we just got destroyed ah good good fake out Duvall get in there oh my that's a good spin not great but when you're playing for London it's not the worst either oh he knocked it away I thought he caught that I thought he got it past us it's not over if we can hold him to a field goal it would be massive and that is just like a miscommunication on Parson we need the pressure we've had none all day uh oh it's a screen love it's all you we forced him out. Woo-wee. Look at the, the hand extension there. Like, I normally wouldn't get this desperate with the return game, but between the missed throws, the bad blocking, the no, you know, rushing lanes, which, you know, turns into that bad blocking, and the receivers just not getting open, it's it's a brutal one. I don't really know how we're going we're gonna to make anything happen here. And that's probably our worst decision yet. But it didn't turn out to be picked, so do a touch pass. I mean, like, there's, there's nothing to do. Like, it's instantaneous. I mean, how do you bring this much pressure and just leave everyone covered? I don't even know why I said leave. Like, there's no, no leaving involved. I wish they would leave us open. Insta-sack again. Like, somebody get in there. We need to pick ourselves. There we go. It only takes three times as long as they do. Let's bring Brooks up. Good job. Damn, they just took a shot at his legs. Defense is getting frustrated. Defense is trying to take it out on someone. No more running. Not with the lanes we've had. Come on, Kirk. I mean, that's goal line, so should be fine. All right. We still have some time. we got a whole quarter. Try to run the ball a little bit if we can. I don't want to say like I'm going to give up on it right away because, you know, our pass game hasn't been much better. But right now it just seems like Tennessee has our, our number at, at every corner at, at this point. This Tennessee team is just smoking us. Now, pre-play, we probably should have signed, you know, a running back to block. But I figured, you know, maybe it would be their weakness to bring that much pressure considering they don't need to. I was like, you know what, maybe we'll actually get someone wide open now. Let's go back to the read option. Let's see what we can do. As we're going to finally get some room and slide. Parks falling forward for just about the first. The first down. Turps at a line a little bit. I'm not saying we need to rush, but it would be nice to get you know another playoff before the fourth quarter, I suppose. I mean, that's just... I, I tried to trust the pocket this time. I thought, you know, hey, maybe me backing up too much at times is causing all of these issues. That's a pretty tough throw, and Alberto catches it. Third and one, start of the fourth. Right up the middle going against the two superstars. This don't even look like a good decision, but four down territory. We'll trust it. Dylan Gaines, a decent bet. Should have been a face mask on top of it. Let's go with this mesh spot. King has looked open out the gate, and then somebody just drives down from out of nowhere to cover him. Oh, maybe not. This time he's actually open. Nice gain, about 15. Yeah, I mean, a screen you would think would work. Oh, we hiked that very fast. I was not ready to hike that ball, but it works out for us as we're going to gain a first with Parks, who gets unnecessarily hit hard there. That would be a 15-yarder every day of the week if we weren't in freaking Tennessee, the little devils. I mean, we're on the run every play. I get it's a screen, right? But, like, how do we not have at least initial blocking? Oh, and no, King sold again. Two fumbles from King this game. Just having a great drive would have had a chance there, and, you know, he said no. Kind of kind of bit over to Robbie, who's really fast. If you don't, have, you don't contain, commit somebody over to that spot on the handoff, obviously it looks like they probably, you know, didn't give it to him because we had someone over there. 
Got two players on top of each other. That's probably not a good look. And the big boys are going to get in there. Everyone's kind of fighting. Stopped them, kind of. Chase on. Hill, you are still okay because you did a really good job and you had to pick earlier. But, man, you got to pick that. I don't think he got his head around uh, quick enough. It's all right, though. Maybe they'll believe in him less. Maybe they're like, hey, he's, they're not going to run a screen with Dylan, right? God, Dylan is so slow. Ran through a guy. That was <laughs> like the longest screen of all time. Maybe it works out in the long run. Alberto to the 45-yard line. Let's hurry up again. I don't want to rush it too much, but and we kind of are in a rushing situation here. And we're running again just because the passing game has been really scary too. Could have the sit down with Hertz. They're not stopping the run on this. And there goes Scotty Miller down to the 26-yard line. Let's hurry up to the line again. And that's just under pressure again. That's a sell, though. That's not a good decision. Mylotta, you are so bad. I'm actually getting rid of him. Like, he's so trash. Like, they have all day on a blitz. Damn it. Uh, still going to keep going, huh? Nice. Oh, we had the double bait there with Brooks. It would have the running back. Would have been a nice hit. Could have crushed him. It's going to be interesting. I think it overcomplicates things. Parsons can't get him. Holton just got torched. It would have been nicer to fumble on the hit stick. Clock is just too much. Clock is just too much. Oh, that's a touchdown. Oh, he fell down. Tripped up by his own guy. That's so close. Can we? I mean, why are they running? Like, look how much time he has. This is a nightmare. Literally no pressure. Come on, fellas. I know the defense has had such a tough time watching this offense perform, but just make a play for the offense. Show them how to score points. That's a really good hit. Obviously, we're not going to give it up. Another huge hit. Timeout. We got a shot. We got a shot. It's a small shot, but if we can at least get a field goal and at least have a shot in overtime or in overtime but an onside kick that'd be great but that's not, that's a long shot i'm gonna lie we'll keep trying we'll keep trying oh my god yo yo they're off by 10 yards on a slant and that's the look we get you gotta be joking me parks nice little chance on the run we're not going to have a field goal shot. Or not a field goal shot, you know what I mean? O onside kick shot. We got to go for the whole thing. Got to go for the whole bucket of chicken. I don't even know what that's supposed to mean here. Could just take a shot to Aiken for pick number six. Dylan. Parks has got a shot. Oh, Parks could score and he's in. Look at the run. Gutsy. Gotta love putting all on the line. Gotta love it. I don't even know how you kick this. This is like half power, full accuracy. I mean, we're gonna go for it. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go something different. Come on, damn it! They don't hit him hard. Good try, dude. But man, we just sold too hard in that game. <laughs> just we just sold too hard. Yeah, I don't know where that puts us because obviously Tennessee now splits with us on the series. And then, uh, not just that, but also that puts us at the same record. So I'm not exactly sure how that goes. But here we are. It's the way it is. All the moving screenshots. Spooky. Spooky scariness. And it's so, that's so strange. I can't tell if that's intended or not. I think it actually looks kind of cool that it's like, it's basically a screenshot, but it's moving as well. Uh, but yeah, I mean, look at the st I mean, look at the stats, dude. Eight takeaways. That is like the most takeaways like ever. I don't even know what the most takeaways ever for one team is, but that is got to be up there, right? King is not the starter. He just simply isn't. At least for next game. I don't know about all time, but at least for next game, Parks. I mean, he's, I'm not gonna say he played great, but 
you know, I can't blame him completely. That O-line was terrible. It was simply terrible. King, it's such a weird spot because Dylan didn't play well when he was in. The fumbles from King were just so terrible. Parks had some fumbles. I mean, that was just a, a nightmare, an absolute nightmare. Who would have thought that Titus Howard going down would have been that big of an impact? But, you know, it was. I mean, look at the, the one dashes on everyone. Like, absolutely not so. Anyways, that is going to be the videos for today. Should be something on the second channel tomorrow. I was going to post it today. I was like, you know what? Instead of three videos today, we'll have two tomorrow, technically. We'll have a rebuild of some sort. I have no idea what. And, uh, you know, God of War Part 2, most likely uh, on the second channel, PK Plays. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this one, even though we did take the L, Maybe leave a like, subscribe if you're new, follow me on Twitter, Jumpy Care. Once again, second channel, PK plays, and then twitch.tv slash Jumpy Care, where we, I don't think we'll be live tomorrow, but we should be live again Sunday around 9 or 10 p.m. Central Standard Time, and that's pretty much it. Hopefully, you guys come back for next video, but until next video.